All right, guys, so a little disclaimer. Um, this is a long process. It is very tedious, and you're going to be sitting in front of your computer for a few hours. So uh, get yourself a coffee, you know, some tea, something to eat, whatever. Do what you got to do, get some music. But uh, you are going to be in front of your computer for a while, uh, refreshing the page. So, yeah, this is how it works. So I used this process myself to get my hands on the PS5. I got the digital edition. And then I went through this process a second time to record the video and actually prove to myself that this actually works. And uh, it worked even better the second time around because I kind of optimized my run. So here you go, guys. You're going to benefit from all my trial and errors, trying everything. Uh, this is definitely the most optimal way to order your PlayStation 5 right now. All right, so before we get started, make sure you clear your browser cache. Uh, you know, delete the cookies, history, whatever. Close your extra tabs. Make sure your browser is refreshing as quick as possible. You don't want to waste time on loading the page slower than it should. Okay, so here, guys, I'd like to advise you to only stick to Walmart. All the other retailers restock ex extremely slowly compared to Walmart. Uh, you're going to be wasting your time if you try this process on other resellers. Focus on Walmart because they restock a lot faster than the others. Okay, then here we go. First off, uh, go to the Walmart's official page. Uh, this is going to be in Canada because I'm in Canada, but it doesn't matter where you are. It's the exact same process anywhere, and whether it's the US site, Canadian site, you name it. First off, you're going to want to create yourself an account. Uh, there's no other way around it. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck in a loop once you've actually managed to get the PlayStation 5 in your cart. Once you created your account, right click on my account on the top right of your screen. And you're going to head over to addresses, obviously enter your shipping address there. Um, and then afterward, enter your billing information, credit card, whatnot, just to finish the entire process of creating your account. Once everything is set up, feel free to search for PlayStation 5 in the Walmart's website. Here the idea is that you want to get both the disc version and the discless version uh, side by side. So when you refresh the page, you can see when both are available. Just uh, sort by popular items. Honestly, at this point, I would not be very picky. The disc version or the digital edition, uh, whichever comes first, should be the one you're going to be getting. However, if you really want to stick to your guns, I guess you can do it, but it might take longer. Okay, so this is where the magic happens, and you sit behind your screen for a few hours. Don't mind the tabs open. Uh, this is when I was experimenting with trying to get it from other sources. But uh, it's really not worth it. The only reliable website to get it is Walmart. Okay, so once you're set on this page, uh, you're going to want to refresh your browser. Let it refresh completely. And every time you're going to want to check if you get the blue button that says pre-order at the bottom of each console. Okay, so the best way to refresh your web page is actually to press F5. That way you don't need to press the browser icon. And you're going to be ready to click on the pre-order button under both of these consoles when they become available. So once you've been at it for a few uh, few minutes or maybe a few hours, you're going to need to hurry up because those pre-order buttons only are available for a few seconds. Check out as fast as possible. There should not be any issue until you reach this point right there where the item is in your cart. Uh, I mean, it is fine. Maybe you can be fast enough to get the entire process in one go, but I seriously doubt it. It really goes uh, goes out fast. Usually it will take you to restock to be able to get your item. And that might seem a lot, but uh, from my experience, the entire process takes around three hours. But uh, obviously it can be faster if you're lucky or it can it can take longer. From my experience, the restock are more scarce during the afternoon and evening. So if you want your best bet at getting it, try to avoid uh, refreshing the page in the evening and afternoon if you can. At the beginning of the day is probably the best moment to get your hands on it. Okay, so once you're at this page where you need to proceed to check out, but you actually can't because the item you're trying to purchase is out of stock, uh, you can't actually click on the proceed to check out button. It does not let you. Although there's a little trick here to uh, go to the next page and make the process a bit faster. So you're going to want to hover over the proceed to checkout button, right click on it and either open it as a new tab or open it in a new window. 
Then you will be sent to this checkout page uh, where you get an error, but that's fine. We only want to reach this page to make it easier and faster to get the PlayStation order through on the next wave of restock. Here on this particular page, I can check out as a guest or sign in. This is because I am not logged into my account. Unfortunately, if you have not logged into your account prior to doing this process, you're going to be stuck in the loop where you cannot ever pre-order your PlayStation. So here, even if you enter your information, uh, sign in here, you're not going to be able to because of the error and the unavailability of your item. Although if you're already signed in, uh, you're still going to get the error, but you are going to be at step three at payment. The only thing left will be to place order. And in order to do that, you're going to have to wait for the next wave of restock. And this is going to be another refreshing the page for a few minutes or a few hours. So press F5 to refresh the page over and over. Let it refresh until the place order button becomes available. And uh, the order should go through at this point and you're going to be left with your order confirmation that's going to be sent to you by email. Okay, so I hope this video helped. Uh, especially for my viewers. I know you guys want to get your hands on Demon Souls as soon as possible. So uh, hopefully that helps you guys get your hand on a new PlayStation 5. Alright, take care everyone.